Hello YouTube and welcome to part five. I hope I get this right. I never know until I'm done. This thing's starting to turn into a long project on the brakes. This is our little diamond disc grinder we made. There's a video on this. If anybody really wants to see it, I can try to find it and put a link in. Okay, here's different discs that go on it. This is a 600. I have a 1200. So what's on there now is a 170. This was off a rock grinding machine, and I had a video on that too. Inland. Just check that out. That was the name of it. This is diamond coated blade. So you can put this on here and cut through stuff with it uh, for rocks. I wouldn't recommend it on metal, but uh, you probably could. But we're going to switch this out. It's real simple. There's a nut over here. There's an arbor work goes on the shaft with a set screw, and I have a wrench for that. And this is your plastic backing plate. Now I have an extra plate where I've glued sandpaper to, and I cannot find it to show it to you. Uh, hopefully I'll find it someday. So we're going to go to a fine grit to do these valves, and we're going to have a slow speed. We don't want to take much off, because we're only going to take like a few thousands off to get the clearance. So that's why we're switching. Uh, it's got a little bolt goes under here like that and there's a little cutout where it clears the hub so it goes over here and like I showed in the last video there's a little bitty uh, I rig up here to keep 90 degree angle this is actually off the machine too so just thought I'd show all that I'll show a little clip of me grinding the valve on there just a short clip so stay tuned we'll get this job done we set to put the side cover back on with the cam and everything and the tap it's back in so we get our clearance so we had them out so we had nothing in the way when we ground these uh, lap these valves or when you're grinding valves you don't want you don't want them in there you just you want them gone so it's no big thing take the side of a motor off don't be scared if you do have a governor I'll snap a couple pictures in case people have never seen one of these Briggs motors uh, you have a plastic geared governor and all that is is these weights fly out and move this lever the easiest way to explain it. Uh, so I'm doing great detail. So stay tuned. Okay, our plastic thing wouldn't work because it's too long. So we've got this TP4 inch machine in square. We just have to square it up. So when we put the valve up here, see around here. And I don't know if I'll be able to take a clip of that, me doing it, but you get the idea. Want it 90 degrees, want everything straight. So here we go on to getting everything back in the engine so we can start setting the clearance okay never mind the fan noise okay we got the tappets back in the cam motor back together you can barely get an eight in the exhaust it's supposed to be 10 is in the middle so you got either nine or 11 tens in the middle that's what we're going to set it for you get your minimum maximum in between Intake is six because it's either five to seven. This is right out of the Briggs chart. Uh, this, let's see if we can show you. This is supposed to be six. We can barely get a three thousandths drags. And if I went to four, it would hit. Trust me, it's in here kind of bad with these filler gauges when you have to add them together you know what I mean a two and a three to make a five but it's just cheap set no you ain't gonna get a four in there so it grabs here click let's put the two thousandths in there you can drag that out Let's put a three in there. I didn't think it'd sink down that far grinding it. Three even drags. That little click is when this comes down and the valve seat hits. Not this touching here, but when you hit the valve seat, because I'm putting a lot of pressure on my finger. That's that little click. Okay, so now you know the basics of what we're doing here. Six and ten. So. We're gonna take this one to our grinder over here. We'll try to give you just a little bitty shot of me doing it. It does make me nervous uh, to be fidgeting around with that when you take it just a few thousands off. So stay tuned. 
Okay, we're just gonna show you how this lays in. Just we just can't get the tripod right spot. See, that's barely. I don't know if it'll show up. It's barely touching it. So we're gonna do like one little circle till it looks even. See where it's kind of showing on have it, and then we'll be back when we get the valve clearance set. That's about all I can show you. This is running at a real slow speed. I can even turn it up. I have it on a Variac back here. So I can control whatever RPM. Sorry about the fast, shaky cam. Okay, stay tuned. We'll get this done. Okay, we went to a 7 because 6 didn't feel right. The failure gates. When I put the 3 and the 4 together to make 7, it seems more accurate than the 6. Uh, the 6 is like six and a half thousandths by checking with my dial uh, calipers so there's seven and I'm putting a lot of pressure on top of the valve now when I, when I push this down I'm holding it really hard with my fingers trust me I don't want to move the camera so seven is the maximum like I said intake five to seven six is in the middle there we go we're off to do the exhaust and it does take quite a few turns to get it on that wheel. I, think, I can't remember the grid on that diamond wheel, but one turn is not a thousandth. It is so fine that you have to be really quick and spin it because I'm putting a spin on it. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera. I'll snap a photo of that. That kind of puts like a spiral look to it. So stay tuned, we're almost done. We gotta do the exhaust. Okay, we've tried zooming and we just can't get the motor any close to the camera. There's a 10. I can hold the valve down as tight as I can and it actually feels a little loose. It was about, I can't remember, 8 or whatever. And I just took a little bit off just to clean the tip of the valve off so it is kind of a loose 10. And like I said, this one's okay now. The intake, we're done. Uh, we will be taking this back apart to put a new gasket in it. So that is the end of this episode. Uh, we did try to take a picture of the tip of the valve so you can see what it looks like. Oh, uh, that swirl pattern because you're spinning it on the diamond wheel. But I don't know if one of these will show up on camera or not. I know I have I know when I looked at a viewfinder that I tend to do this. And stay back, you guys probably see it on a big Try to take a picture and thanks for watching.